heartache for a family on Long Island after a raging fire overnight claimed the life of, of a beloved relative. And in a tragic twist, many of the family members in the house were in town for a funeral. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff reports someone went back in for a pet and never came out. Nothing remains of the house on Lafayette Street, which hours earlier was filled with eight members of an extended family here for a funeral. Smoke detectors sounded shortly after 3 a.m. Within minutes, the entire house was engulfed in flames. The flame was up to high above, and it, it, it was horrifying. The fire it spread so quickly, so fast. It just it's crazy, it's fast. Seven adults got out safely. The eighth, 60 year old Kashmira Patel, did not. Family members say she went back in to rescue her beloved dog. She considered her a daughter. So she went back. She actually came all the way to the door, helped her mom out of the house, and then she went back. Both she and the dog perished. Heartbroken relatives say Patel from Floral Park, a devoted mother and daughter, was sleeping in the house following her father's death. They claim it took at least 20 minutes for fire engines to arrive, and then one hydrant didn't work. Fire hydrants are 300 feet away from this house, so they took another while to get the water started. Fire officials say it was a quick response by nine departments with 60 firefighters. One nearby hydrant failed, but that did not affect response time. A live electrical wire in front of the house briefly blocked their entry. Both police officers and firefighters attempted to make an entry. It was just unattainable. Uh, the conditions were too fierce. The conditions were too far gone, and they could not get into the house to go search. The fire marshal adds, with flames raging, minutes can feel like hours. The seven survivors were treated for smoke inhalation and will stay with relatives in this close-knit family, left with nothing. Devastating. Your whole life is gone. This family is struggling to figure out what started the blaze. The fire marshal says it does not appear to be criminal at this time. In Herrick's Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And at this hour, the fire marshal says the cause of the fire is still under investigation.